Can masturbation cause it? There's a lot of old wives' tales centered around masturbation. According to myths, it can make a man go blind, yield the hairiest of hands, and even make a penis fall off. One of the newer concerns having to do with the fine art of self a pleasure is the question, can masturbation cause ed? Ed, long name, erectile dysfunction, is something many men deal with at some point in their life, whether temporarily or chronically. Let's learn a bit more about erectile dysfunction and if there is a connection between ed and masturbation. What is erectile dysfunction? Let's start by normalizing ed a bit. Having the occasional lazy soldier is not a result of chronic erectile dysfunction. It could be stress, alcohol, or just being tired. If a man is unable to summon an erection or maintain it at least 25% of the time, it's possible he may have erectile dysfunction. It should also be pointed out that Ed can affect any man. It's not just a condition that affects men in their midlife or golden years, though they are more susceptible to it as they age. Can masturbation cause Ed? Plain and simple, no, masturbation is not a direct cause of erectile dysfunction. Masturbation is a natural activity and doesn't affect the frequency or quality of erections. Thank goodness, because 74% of males admit to masturbating. And if masturbation caused dead, we'd be looking at an epidemic. Some people may cite difficulties with sensitivity. This can be linked to masturbation if a man uses a too tight stroke, often called a death grip, or gets addicted to porn. Either can desensitize a man and demand an accelerating pattern in order to achieve release. What things do causes erectile dysfunction? Age is a big factor with erectile dysfunction. It's very common in men over 40 years old. This group can be affected by up to 40%. Now, the inability to get an erection at all is about 5% for men at 40 and 15% at age 70. For some men, it's all in their head, and now their other one. Men who feel depressed, anxious, or have body issues can experience it. The most common indicator, however, is men who have a disease that affects blood flow or nerves in some way. Diseases that are associated with erectile dysfunction include Obesity Diabetes Heart disease High blood pressure High cholesterol Stroke Multiple sclerosis Cancer Erectile dysfunction treatment and prevention the first course of action for treatment of erectile dysfunction is to treat the underlying cause if there is one. For some that means medication or changing medications. For others, it can be lifestyle changes like losing weight, incorporating a healthier diet, getting more exercise, getting enough quality sleep, or dealing with emotional issues. Stress and anxiety also have been attached to Ed. Getting proper mental health care is the key to resolving ED in some cases. Of course, there are also well-known medications that are used to help men get and keep an erection. The little blue pill has only grown in popularity over the years. Some men will want to address erectile dysfunction first with these popular medications. However, if there is a root cause, it is better for both overall and reproductive health to address the bigger matter first.